sorry about that. I just uh, just figured it out, and I stopped recording there. But um, so what you actually need to have is an and, and then you can extend this on even further. You can say and, and then um, I don't know as if. So it'll actually display this, then the variable, whatever is held in the variable, and then as if afterwards. Uh, I would normally do a space like that and a space like that, so that this variable isn't crunched up against what's um, written there. So anyway, if we say go, then we enter anything. It says we're right here in the code. And then what we do is we just say, um, I don't know, somewhere as if, I guess. Do three, maybe, and OK. You entered, that's what we entered, and then as if is written afterwards. OK. And then it does the mouse position again, and goes to the both positions. I think I'm going to get rid of that for now. Um, I believe you can have non-used variables up here. Um, I don't think it affects anything in particular. Um, so let's see. If, I believe we can also enter numbers here. Yeah. So it can be held as any string whatsoever. Uh, I don't think that's like a normal string, actually. But uh, So anyway, we can enter anything we want. So that's good to know. It can be numbers or letters or symbols, I believe. Um, anyway, so that's that. Uh, I did call this game, because I wanted to make it into some sort of game. Uh, let's see. How about I say, enter your name. You are now named, and then space, and entry. And we're actually going to call this dollar sign name now. And that's nice. Name, OK. And by default, we're going to name it as if, I guess. Um, actually, I I think that might have to be in quotations. Uh, I'll have to check on that. So anyway, um, so now what we're going to do here is we enter a name. So let's say Paul is our name. So you are now named Paul. So as we continue through whatever game we build here, uh, we can use that name throughout the game, which will be kind of neat. Um, so what we're going to do here is um, message box uh, one, flag of one, no title, and click OK or die. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, we're going to make another variable here. And this variable is going to be uh, msg1. Let's just keep it simple. And that'll be 0 to begin with. I don't know. It's a decent placeholder. It's just 0. So what we're going to do is dollar sign msg1 equals whatever uh, flag 
whichever button is clicked with message blocks is returned to the value of message blocks, which is then assigned to MSG1. Kind of complicated, but not really. Um, let's see now. So, what we can say is if dollar sign MSG1 equals um, 2, which means they clicked cancel instead of OK, the only other choice they had, um, then MSG box uh, 0 and comma you died. And I believe we can say end. Can we say end? Uh, maybe exit. Yeah, I think it's exit. So what that'll do is it'll end the program. End if. So that means if it runs to this point, it'll uh, end the program and it won't go any farther. And you'll have to start over. So enter your name. Paul. Paul's my name. You're now named Paul. OK. Click OK or die. Well, we're going to click Cancel. You died. And it should have ended the, um, the program. So it'll actually stop at this point and you'll have to click go or whatever or F5 to restart and go through the program again. Now, since we don't actually have to account for all of the possible things it could be, like if they did click OK, I don't have to have a separate if statement saying MSG1 equals 1, which is OK. I don't have to do anything like that. It'll just continue along here. If it's anything other than 2, it'll continue to the rest of this code straight off the bat. Um, so what we're going to say is MSG box um, Thank you. Have a cookie. Yeah. And where the top is that? I don't know why. Because, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so if we just look at this quickly, um, I'm going to be named Asdif instead. We're now named Asdif. Click OK or die. So if we click Cancel, it'll exit the program, and it won't continue any farther. Uh, I'm just going to show you that it doesn't continue any farther. So once we click OK, it exited, and it never brought up this next message box. And if we go through this again, and we click OK from here, thank you, have a cookie, and it's at this point here. So that's great. Uh, so that's what the exit... Um, Man, I don't remember what these are called, but they're they have some sort of name to them. I'll remember at some point. Okay, so um, I believe that's going to be all for now, and I will see you again next time.